All right. It's fucking murder crazy. <laughs> oh. One one second in already. Already fucked up. Uh huh. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Uh, anyway, welcome back. Uh, on the last episode, Craig was giving us more shit to do. He's like that. Um, he's like that boss. He's like, oh yeah. Um, when you're done, just make sure you do this as well. Oh, and can you stay an extra two hours? Because I've got some more claws to throw at you, and you're just like, Craig, come on. Come on, dude. I want to go out with my friends tonight. Yeah, and you already, knew that. I've already done so much overtime this week. And you knew that. And he just looks at you with his stupid Craig grin. It's like, manage your business better. So yeah. You don't Oh, Craig's Just relying on one person. Oh. It's like talking to a brick wall at this point. Craig knows that his uh, uh, shower curtain ring business <laughs> isn't going very well. <laughs> he's that's why he's taking it out on his employees. Shower yeah. shower curtain sales uh, mm. workers uh, unionize. Yeah, that's what I, would be my advice. I think you, so. At working at um, Craig's shower curtain business. Uh, yeah, otherwise, otherwise you're gonna have to put up with more of this. Yeah, get get a picket line going. Yeah, why not? I'll stand. I'll stand with you guys all the way. Anyway, back to this. Motherfucker! <laughs> oh! <laughs> why is he allowed to hit them away? That's the big thing. <laughs> why? Planes, crazy, and automobiles. <laughs> well, then we know the episode's name this time as well. I guess so. Mm. I was going to read a, a few uh, home truths, but as I picked up the book, I realised that some people might find it a little bit too close to uh, close to home. Close to home truths. I have a little little bug friend. Oh, is that that moth? Yeah, he's gone now. <laughs> you don't like moths, huh? No, no, I just got hit by like three crayed fingernails. Yeah, you should really clean them up. He's not not great no, with personal. Really not hygiene. hygienic. Yeah, no. bad boss, bad roommate. Mm. Just like all round, all awful, round bad guy. guy. He's got face a mother, only a mother could love, really. Yeah. You know, I don't. And just really doesn't. Ah, <sighs> oh, Craig, you are pushing my buttons. I'm really pushing my damn buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a Jedi trick again. Good thing he did some meditation. Yeah. Over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> there are two emotions in the world: pain and relaxation. And you. I think you can say pain and joy. No, I think I mean, joy doesn't exist. Fuck no, it. joy doesn't exist, especially with this motherfucker. He's bringing me right down to the depths of Norfair. Uh -huh. Are we in Norfair? No, uh, we're in Craid. Oh. <laughs> the neighborhood's named after him. Holy shit! He's he's got he owns real estate. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody stop this fucking oligarch. <laughs> uh -huh. Can I get him? No. I no. You know what I hate? When you're on that fucking ledge and you're like, oh, I want to go down. So you press down, she doesn't move. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's jank. Fix your game, Nintendo. <laughs> Fix your... F Nintendo, <laughs> hire this man. <laughs> I was going to tell you about this book that I'm reading at the moment. It's called um, Everything is Fucked. <laughs> yeah. And it's, Doesn't uh, sound relevant at all. No, no, I mean, it's, uh, it's a fiction. Oh, okay, <laughs> I see. Yeah, it's it's about flight this, of fancy. Mm, it's about this world where, um, like ten, ten of the richest people in the world control everything. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, that sounds like science fiction to me. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's quite out there. You know, you just gotta suspend your disbelief a little bit. Right. Yeah. Just so, just bear with me. Um, and basically, uh, it just tells uh, this story about how you as a human being are just this like hamster on a wheel. Right. It gets a flurball out of. Fact. Flagmore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's really. Anyway, come uh, come back for more reviews because uh, we'll reviews, be doing... reviews, and all that's fit to print. <laughs> Craig, uh, I'm kind of kind of sick of this shit now. Yeah, me too. Uh, we need to give him his eviction notice. Yeah, really. Because uh, his landlord doesn't want to talk to him. So uh, apparently, he owns a house though. Oh, well, then that's why he's here in the first place. <laughs> He's just here for rent. Uh huh. Maybe we're the bad tenants. No, no, Craig's Craig's a terrible landlord. Mm. Definitely. Look at him. Oh, Craig, leave me alone. <sighs> Son of a bitch. 
I don't want this pain anymore. I feel like I'm stuck in an episode of um, uh, Bernard's Watch. <laughs> Bernard's Watch. <laughs> I was gonna oh. say Groundhog Day, but the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's Bernard's Watch. You can freeze time. Yeah, just can't do that. Yeah. It's Sully Jules. <laughs> just turn into Jimmy Stewart. The Jazz Jules. <laughs> just turn into Jimmy Stewart. Oh, jeez, I got a job. I mean, we talked about great. the other day how like. Jazz was like the symbol of depravity back mm. in the day. Yeah, 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 it was. So just any kind of drug or like, <laughs> you know, thing they was too terrible to say and they needed a euphemism, they just put jazz before it. Yeah, pretty much. Jazz cigarette. And they used to say like all that jazz and it usually has negative connotation. Do you know what um, Napoleon Dynamite is called in Japan? I don't. Is this one, is something Max told you? Yes. It sounds like something Max would tell you. And like, I would also, if he told me this, I would also question. No, you can look it up. I've genuinely looked it up. Uh -huh. It's called Man on a Bus. Man on a Bus. Yeah. Have you seen the film? Yeah, I've, I've seen the film. I think yeah. that's like... That's quite, that's quite I accurate. I with it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's poignant. It's a poignant title. Whenever I feel a bit sad about my life, I just look up films and their names in Japan, Japanese. And it's not even like... I'm not laughing at them. I'm laughing like kind of with them. I don't know. It's, it's just, like, yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of cute and endearing. That kind of shit really fascinates me when people know the covers better than the originals. I mean, it's pretty... Yeah, I mean, I, I think it just happens with age eventually. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ah, fight or flight three there. None of them got in. Fight or flight mode, Isaac. Let's go. Pure adrenaline. Yeah. Single quick, 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 quick. Don't get carried away. <laughs> Stay down here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh, oh my fucking god. Hey, Jesus Christ. Check your privilege for fuck's sake. <laughs> Fucking going on a rent strike, mate. Yeah. Craid. Fucking. Get out of my life. The workers of uh, uh, the shower curtain business have unionised. Oh, get that. The things. tenants are on a rent strike. Um, and your your wife has taken the kids. Yep. To, to Magaluf. And he's the kind of fuck boy who wouldn't pay alimony. Oh, totally. So... You know, I've not, I've got no sympathy from Isaac, none at all, nothing. What do you mean? They're my kids. <laughs> That's exactly the way he would speak as well. <laughs> and now you're taking my speed booster. I'll go back to it when I'm making this joke, but when he's like dying and he was all like, <laughs> "That's how he's gonna look like in court when one of his kids are taken away from him." <laughs> oh, dude, I'm beginning to get that uh, Pringle breath. Oh, yeah, Pringle Breath is real. It's a real thing. I'm going to give it a miss now. I'm going to put them over here on my way. Um, I was like eating Pringles recently that I got really bad. I think me and Liam were hanging out. Uh... Wait, is that how you speed boost? Did you get the speed booster? I got speed boost. Oh, so go as far as you can to the left of the room and then just keep running in a direction. And don't stop. There you go. Ooh, and just keep going. It's nice. very satisfying, yeah. Because now you can get through here. And, oh, you have to shoot the thing, but it doesn't matter. You yeah, because in Super, I think you had to hold down a button. You can build it back up because you're going to need to to get through to the bit here. That's the speed boost wall. Oh. So I think it's asking you to like shoot. Open these. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. When we started this Let's Play, it was daylight. It was, <laughs> you know. You know, it's, it's now. Summer. No, 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 don't let it happen again. <laughs> Damn it. It's alright, you can just jump up there now. Yeah, you know that uh, <laughs> ledge hang is very useful. It's literally the best power up in the game, in my opinion. And now we're, we're gonna oh, fuck. run into Lucas Age. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. What just... were we talking about before Kraid? I don't know, he's all I can think about now. The Mandalorian? That was a long time ago. That was a long time. But we were still fighting Kraid then, right? We've been fighting Kraid what seems like for the rest, all of Five my years. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so we shouldn't go this way is what I'm gathering. Mm. Ah, the Metroid music. Uh, you're going to want to start shooting immediately. Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You are... 
They just wanted you to take the taste of the rich, pure taste of glucose. <laughs> I guess so. Damn. Oh, there you go. Missile? No? Is that not? That's it. That's all she wrote. So now what? Is that maybe we go down? Yeah, I think that's what you're gonna do. Alright. Oh, hey guys. Going down, down in an alley around. Something that's swinging. <laughs> I think Fall it's Out like Boy. Fall Out Boy, yeah. Um, it's a good band. I like that band. It was all about that shit. Back in uh, high school. High school? Secondary school. Secondary yeah, school. Yeah, there we go. Secondary school. Sorry. Americanisms are slipping in. As they do. Because mm. we all watch too many Ross heavy episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like Ross Ross episodes to me. Do you know what though, friends? I didn't enjoy watching it, but I've watched the whole goddamn thing recently. Not that long ago. Yeah, I feel like to, like it's just it's just fucking. Easy it's a little bit painful. Snack food? No, it is painful. I didn't Some, enjoy, you know what I mean? Like you definitely. watch it, you keep watching it because like, what what the fuck else are you gonna do? <laughs> um, but it's like it's not good for you. You don't like these people. No. And they're not that funny. They're, like a lot, they're kind of funny, but that's like... I don't... I can't remember what... I mean, uh, they're all awful people, but like... Damn, I'll much sooner rather watch Always Sunny than Friends. <laughs> you know Literally. what I mean? Yeah, of course. Oh, this is that cannon room that you went to the top of. Oh, there's something here, though. Look, can see. Hey. <gasps> Ooh, bubble. <laughs> oh. I am, as, as the kids say these days, hogging out. <laughs> You're gonna have to run that one by me yeah. once more. <laughs> you pog, pog champ. You familiar with the, the pog champ? Um, no. When you say pog, I'm just thinking of those things that were in our crisps when we were kids. Right, yeah, so it is related to that. <laughs> um, it's an episode of a show with uh, Gutex and Mike Ross, who are like big uh, fighting game community guys. They had like a oh. YouTube show back in the day. Oh. Competitors. Um, I, I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, like the, um, it was like some episode or something of a thing they did where it was like um, they were playing Pogs, and there's like some outtake from it where uh, Gutex um, makes this face that's like, <laughs> uh, you know, you, you you hear that and you, I mean, just Google Pog Champ and you'll it'll, it'll come up. Um, I will. And then it, that got uh, immortalized as a Twitch emote. Oh, okay. That, yeah. Now, now we're talking like Zoomers. <laughs> yeah. But this was for everyone. It's like one of the first like Twitch emotes back in like you know I don't know the twenty tens or something early twenty tens. Um, and yeah, so yeah, Pog Champ is is definitely one of the the more well known uh, Twitch emotes. And yeah, it's an expression of like shock and joy, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do find it remarkable how quickly um, new technology emerges, um, which makes me sound like I'm 100. <laughs> but no, I mean, just like in the 10 years that like is the distinguished amount of time between um, generations, I guess. Mm -hmm. Even though I think a generation is more than 10 years. Uh, but apparently, like, if you're born... So we were born in the 90s, mm -hmm. so we're millennials. We're millennials, yeah. And if you're born post-2005... Uh, like 1996. Oh, is it really? I well, no, it well, 1996 is, like, um, that's when you're a, a Generation Z or Zoomer. Oh, really? I yeah. thought it was way later than that. Yeah. I thought it was, like, 2005 or something. No, 2005's got to be the next one, which I don't know if there is a name for that. Not yet, no, but it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Are you um, ready? Yeah. I think we've got to go upwards here. Yeah. I, 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 Up the shaft. Ooh. <laughs> mm. it's, uh, that's not safe for work. It's not safe for work. Well, <laughs> it's not the start of the episode, so it's fine. <laughs> we we went to very close together schools. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Mr. 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 Thimu. I love how you had a teacher called Mr. X in, uh, was that in Ellis? I think there was a... It was you that told me this. 
Yeah, he was Greek. I can't remember what the... What the <laughs> I just remember he was Greek. Oh, is this... Oh, this is this room. This is this room. Yeah, Come he was on, a Mr. Kid. X. I think he was... I think he was a math teacher. Which is, <laughs> you know, even more appropriate. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, and Mr. E was uh, Mr. Thimu. Yeah, again, he was, he was also Greek. Uh, we had a Greek math teacher. Is that weird? I mean, yeah, it's Greek. It's interesting. Also, Greece is like, isn't that like the birthplace of, of modern or like semi? Well, not, probably not modern, but mm -hmm. like, you know, like mathematics or like, you know, trigonometry and, yeah. and algebra and all that. That was oh, the Greek. Oh, a, this guy again. This boy. This fucker. You know what? Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. Do it, do it. Run away. And then missile him in the face. Hey, oh, yeah. fuck you! <laughs> Still with 34 missiles. Can you go up from it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, it's another fucking one. Are you serious? Or just go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to kill him. <laughs> oh! Yeah, Still 20 missiles left. That's how you do it. This, this, play, this playthrough is making me realise how much I don't like Metroid. 2D Metroid as much as I do. I love 2D Metroid. Oh, I love a good 2D Metroid. I love a light 2D Mitchell. So you listened to the House of the Dead episodes with Drew. Yeah. Was he getting annoying when he would do his fucking right on. See you later. See you later. No, Every no, I think time. That's, that's a nice little flourish. <laughs> okay. I think. Because he will not stop these days. How do we get back there? It's how like did this... I get in here in the first place? How did I get here? Right, because we came in... You know what I'm saying? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> oh, we got a cutscene. Oh, fuck. So we were going the right way. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. This is like halfway through the game. This is a good time to finish. Fantastic. I mean, we'll, we'll keep going. Because this is the space pirate. Oh, Ridley's here. Speaking yeah. of the devil, and he shall appear. <laughs> yeah, he's, Ridley's the head of the uh, space pirates, and they're uh, landing. They're landing. Coming soon to a... Uh... Yeah, he's, you get the feeling like, was he just waiting here this hey, whole time? Hey, hello. Yeah, he was waiting to pounce. Oh, this is a really good bit of the game, actually. Um, we have to keep playing now. <laughs> like, I found out recently that... Um, so you're familiar with the character George uh, Constanza from Seinfeld? Yes. Classic character. I haven't seen all of Seinfeld, but I know who you're talking about. You know, he's, he's iconic. Um, I found out recently it's not George Constanza, it's George Costanza. Oh, whoa, whoa, mind blown. Mind blown, yeah, no N, <laughs> no N in there. Um, oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because like Constanza, I feel like, is a pretty common Jewish surname, but I've never heard of anyone called Constanza. Hmm. That was the whole story. I told you it wouldn't take long. <laughs> <to, laughs> in between these episodes, you were like, how long's this story going to be? Because <laughs> we stopped on it, but yeah, no, that was it. So in a few episodes, we were talking about like what was our binges during the lockdown. Right, yes. Yeah, I didn't. I only really talked about The Mandalorian and Looney Tunes, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, but the one thing I did want to talk about is you guys. It's going to date the video slightly. <laughs> it, he might even be like a completely different person by the time I've said this. Um, but Zac Efron, okay? Right. Didn't really appreciate any of his movies and didn't really think he was that great. Sure. Until Seven, 17 again. I until, like... hey, 17 again. I love that movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, whatever. He's That's not the pinnacle of acting, but... Um, so, so what is? So, I really liked him in Ted Bundy. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, that It's a hard one, film yeah. to watch because of the content but uh, sure. and the source material. Um, source material of real life. Mm, yeah, I mean, but it's a brilliant film and it's a brilliant performance from him. And that was the point where I was like, mm, okay, there are enough Zach everyone, you know, like, I can... There's some acting chops. Um, yeah, he's got some acting chops. And he also comes from, uh, supposedly, I don't know if this is true or not, I only heard this from um, a friend of mine, but apparently he comes from the same acting, he went to the same acting school as Bradley Cooper, and Bradley Cooper... That acting school is the one that uh, Robert De Niro funds and is teaches at, you know, like lectures at. Um, 
so yeah, no, um, and he did a Netflix he did a Netflix series recently called Down to Earth, where he travels the world with a, uh, a guy who's written a book on healthy living, on how to live sustainably. Uh, I don't know the name of the guy off the top of my head. Zac Efron's series on uh, Netflix, or... Netflix is really insightful. Very, I would say, life changing because I've actually I went for a walk with the missus. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, I went for a walk with the missus uh, down the canal in London. We walked all the way to the west part of London. We live in the north, so it's quite a distance. We went on, got our steps in that day. Um, and uh, on the way, I saw like a, a plastic bottle in the canal just floating there. And uh, I went to pick it up because it was in reaching distance, you know, mm -hmm. and then just like swim. Oh, <laughs> fuck this guy. What is this? Oh, it's one of those like horse. Oh, damn it. Seahorses. Yeah. Oh, you need a super missile. Yeah. A superb missile. <laughs> um, so, anyway, yeah, I reached into the canal, brought out this plastic bottle, and my girlfriend's like, you shouldn't touch that. It's got rat disease. It's got Rona, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> like. And I was like, well, I just feel like I, if I can do something about it, you know, like I'm making my, making making the world a slightly better place just in a tiny little way. Because, I don't know, some fucking fish could have choked on that or something. I don't know. Could have got stuck inside. I don't know. That program was one of, not the only one, because obviously we hear it all the time. The world's doomed. But um, you got to do your, th you got to do what you can in your own little way. Yeah. One thing I really want to get involved in is a voluntary thing where you can go and clean up the Thames. And you yeah. just go pick up some garbage. It's gonna be horrible because you'll like you'll realize like how much trash ends up in the in the in the river. Yeah. And I they bet. keep saying that the River Thames is one of the cleanest. Oh my god! Fuck these guys. Hold on. Hold you on. need to go that way though. I do, but. Yeah. <laughs> time for time for Jedi mind trick time. Hey, I'm a totalian. Man, tricks don't work on me. <laughs> I'm doing my Watto. I, I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> I feel like Watto was just kind of like a Jewish stereotype. It was though. a little bit, yeah, because he was based off of Fagan. Yeah, I have to yeah no, he was. And George Lucas didn't think too hard about the the mm. character of Fagan, maybe. Mm. Well, I always found Fagan uh, when I like I watched the original Oliver. And I read High Jump. Hell yeah. Hey, yeah, baby. Oh. Oh, hi. How's it going? Oh, how's my it going, God. man? I completely forgot about this guy. This guy's going to give you trouble. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. No, you need to get him from the front, I think. Okay. Fair mm -hmm. enough. See you later. See you later. No, don't start that. <laughs> True. See sick. you later. <laughs> um, you bloody bogan. <laughs> when I was traveling, I met a lot of people. How am I supposed to miss all that? Got to do it from the other side, I guess. I guess. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. What's up? Did you let stuck the, in there now? He let the cat out? <laughs> the cat out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, like, seriously. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh, it's just a bit. It's just a bit. Oh. But this, this, I can get up there. Ooh. The plot thickens. Ooh, oh, that was where I was meant to go. I've got to go back to Brinstar now. Ooh, okay. Oh, and look, you've defeated Kraid. So one, remember that old room with the... Yes. Thing? One so of them one will be open now. Disappear, yeah. Oh, sorry, one of them will disappear, yeah. yeah. But the next guy's Ridley, and they already foreshadowed that with a cutscene. Oh, you jumped so high now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite crazy. nice. Crazy. Crazy. This game's... Uh, it's like Christmas in here. Yeah. You know one thing I really liked about camp? Yeah. Uh, Shabbat. Christmas. Shabbat. Ooh, Shabbat. Ooh, yeah. Loved you, Shabbat. Are you Shabbat's, joking? Shabbat's lovely. Yeah, you kind of just really you nice. sit around with some candles yeah. and some wine. Did you have challah? Uh, describe that to me. Maybe. It's like a. It's kind of like a brioche sweet bread. Yes. Yes, we did. It was really, really good. Yeah, it <laughs> was good. That was always as a kid. You know, going very early to synagogue mm. every. Uh, Saturday, it was, yeah, that was my favourite part, for sure. Yeah. Because I didn't like the wine, and often the wine they had there was, like, kosher wine. Oh, which right. even as an adult is, like, doesn't taste great. Really? Yeah, kosher wine. Is... I don't think we got to taste it, because obviously we were at a kid's camp, but, like... Right. Um, no, it was really nice. You got dressed up nice. Um, oh, there we go. You had to wear white or blue, I believe. Oh, really? 
Yeah, I don't know why, but it was just nice. You got to dress up nice. Um, the food was immaculate at that point. Like it was really mm. beautiful. Like they put m- huge amounts of effort into it. Shout out to Marta, I guess. Yeah, shout out to Marta. Um, well done. <laughs> like great job on the food. Great job on the food. Um, and it was just like my favorite time of the of the week because before you would sit down and eat, you would say. We give thanks to, um, they were trying to make it like, it was a Jewish camp, but they tried to make it non-religious just because sure. obviously not everybody's Jewish there. And they would say things like, oh, you know, thanks for the food we're about to receive. May we all be eternally grateful. And like, I'm not religious, okay? And I've said this to you before, definitely before. Sure. But I did grow up Christian. And then when I was like 11, I was like, mm, nah, no thanks. Um, was it like Church of England or Catholic? Yeah, it was Catholic. Catholic I come from okay. an Irish family, so. Right. Um, Didn't want to see you. No, it's fine. Um, but like, I'm not a religious person and if I have kids one day, I don't think I'm going to raise them Christian either, but I do think it's important to give thanks for what you have. I think that's a really nice side of religion, um, you know, to be thankful. Um, and I think (laughs) if my kids listen to this one day or whatever, they'll be like, oh, fucking dad. But like, if I sit down and we all sit down on Friday evening or it doesn't have to be a Friday, like whatever. Yeah, cooked a meal we'll get we'll gather around the table um just before we eat i'm just going to be like hey just just a moment to say thank you for what we have you know because not everybody has this now you can eat you know no it doesn't need to be religious um and i've told you this before like like i said earlier like i don't think religion is uh like it's not necessary for a human for the human complex but faith absolutely is like everybody's got faith I don't care what it is. You have faith in something. Everybody has faith in something. Even nihilists have faith in something. Nihilists have faith that nothing is more important than nothing. So that's faith. So. (laughs) So. Oh, this is a bit tricky. Yeah. Um, But no, I think faith is fundamental and you can't escape it. Like, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. You've got to believe in something. Um, And in times of peril, most of us go, maybe not pray, but we... (laughs) We plead to something. <laughs> sure. It's interesting, we were talking about this on another episode, but it was a long time ago, um, in Smash Brothers, because oh, Samus right. had like a hiatus uh, for a long time in the N64 times, um, where they obviously like, they made like Super Metroid on the SNES, but then they didn't have another game until... There was until nothing the... on N64. There was nothing that. Metroid related except for Smash Bros. Um, so Metroid fans were kind of left in the dark. Um, excuse me. Um, but it's interesting, isn't it, like, when they brought her back, uh, in, like, preceding games, like, uh, Smash 4, I think it was, mm. that game onwards, they started to use her other M design. Right. Which, honestly, after... I, me and you are in agreement with this. Like, I love that design. Um, I think we're not in <laughs> What? You don't agree with me? Yeah, or? I think... I think it's great. I think it, it angles out all of her attributes. And I like, think I think it's my least like after I finished Super Metroid, I was kind of curious like about like how did other games interpret the you know some of these suits? Yeah, I think yeah, Other M has got to be like my least favorite in terms of I think it's like. Are we leaving now? Yeah, we're going back to Brinstar. Oh yeah, of course. Sorry, yeah. Um, so it's your least favorite. Yeah, I think it kind of smooths it out a bit too much, and then it just has those like jagged kind yeah. of. L- Kind of knee. on the on the shoulders. I yeah. Think. No, I really like it. I think it kind of uh, sort of sums up what you what you want some Samus to look like. Um, I like I like the I think the actually the um, the three DS game that was a remake ooh, of yeah. Metro Two. Regardless, I haven't of played it. But whatever I really the want game to. is, yeah, I haven't either. Um, I think the the suit in that looks fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, and, like uh, the shoulders are just chunky enough. They've got like the little yeah, spiky things you're good off of them. Now. Oh yeah, it's eighty-three, not 03. <laughs> you know. can jump now in the ball. You just did it. Oh, oh, that's really helpful. You need Ooh. to use that. <laughs> use that the whole time. Just go around the whole game like this. Rolling around at the speed <laughs> of sound. I <laughs> uh, see. I thought so. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Yum. Oh, no, but you gotta... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Wait, do that again inside the beast? <laughs> I love how they've got, like, the little tile there. Yeah, it, it just <laughs> makes it a whole tile. But yeah. 
That's cool. No, but I thought you had to like kill. You have to kill Ridley first. Cool. Um, I'm not sure how you get up to her. Him, sorry. Um, so another thing that Avram did, right? Yep. So like I was saying, I recently, I again, I went on a mad tangent. I was in CEX and it was there for a fiver. So I was like, hey, I'll pick up Avram. Fuck it. I got it originally years ago, um, but it's a steal. Yeah, At uh, five pounds, it's a steal. Like, sure. Well, Five pounds for a video game, that's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Team Ninja put in a lot of work. I mean, it's... I'll say it. I've said it about Sonic games, and it's the same for this one. They had a really cool idea, but they didn't execute it well. Sure. <laughs> but they sure as hell put a lot of effort into it. Um, and not everything about that game is terrible. Um, it is definitely the Sonic 06 of the Metroid series, and people will tell you that who know the series really well. Um... But I don't think it's as bad as people say it is. Like, it's still a Metroid game. I just wish it wasn't all mapped to... Like, the big thing about, like, that game is that, like, you're using the Wii Remote on its side. So it's like an NES controller. Right. So it tries to mirror the... Yeah, yeah, it tries to... Like like this, where there's only, like, two or three buttons, you know? Sure. But then, because Prime was a thing, uh, and this was after Prime... Uh, they had the first person they you could well. switch to first person, and yeah. you'd have to change the orientation of the Wii remote and point it at the screen. And when you're in that mode, Samus can't move, and it'll usually be in like a firefight or something, you know. Which is something that's like, why would you not want to move there in, in Prime, which was uh -huh. you know released not that long ago? You could move, so it just felt very um, okay. dated, yeah, yeah. very arcadey. Um, especially coming from Prime, because I played all three of those games and love them. Yeah, because the whole thing with Prime is like, you know, the, almost the first person thing. It's like first person games can be very atmospheric if they're done hugely, right. Hugely, yeah. And Prime One is that, like, yeah, it's hugely. Um, they, I think the third one's probably the worst one, but not because it's a bad game, but just because they put too much of an emphasis on trying to appeal to the Wii crowd, you know, like the grandmas, sure. <laughs> the soccer mums, you know. Um, and that's fine. They made it more accessible. They, there's more motion controls in it. They are a little bit obnoxious. But I wouldn't say they're badly implemented, no. Sure. So, no, but the other I mean, thing... it almost seemed like that was in some ways the, the preferred way to play the the first two when they brought mm -hmm. out the trilogy. Yeah, right? oh my god, yeah. Well, they they render them. Uh, they render the first two games in sixteen by nine and, and give you widescreen, which That's the GameCube didn't yeah. have. And they also are in HD if you play them on a Wii U. So it does Ooh, feel. What is this? Oh, you might want to missile it, maybe. Missile it. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, maybe not. What the hell is this? Right off it. That's some pretty cool. Freaky. Uh... <laughs> oh, you can go that way. Cool. Oh, well, it's time for next next time on Mac K Plays, but we're discovering new shit. Oh, maybe not, actually. No, we've actually been here we've before. Been here. Why was that Ooh, new thing, man? Ooh, you're getting there. Secrets. Secrets. We'll discover more secrets next time on Mac K Plays. Goodbye. Uh-huh. <laughs>